in like during the Pyre Cynical stuff, um, when that happened, I lost like three months of, you know, revenue. I was making nothing on YouTube. And, um, you know, right now I'm in a good financial position, but at the time I was not really, you know, doing so amazing, but, um, you know, I, I, I wanted to do the right thing and I, you know, said what I believed in and that definitely cost, um, I'm not trying to make myself seem like some gay martyr, um, but it definitely cost a little bit. But, um, at this point, you know, I think that was the last time I planned to stick my neck out for anyone on the internet for now. I'm just going to make the videos that I can um when i can and uh get a house and then a bmw m5 and that's about it yeah damn you're on a mission yeah well i'm totally you know like i said i'm black pilled on this issue so it's just not it's not worth it to me yeah it, it actually literally doesn't pay to be good uh, according to tiktok science i got this data from tiktok and which is you know true and correct 100 percent of the time and so they were saying that there was a study done where they had asked people like who would they reward the most to lease. And it really did appear that uh, people are nice to bad people. And therefore, they kind of get away with it. Yeah. So. I mean, if you're a terrible human being, but you're like funny or something or like entertaining, people will not give a shit. So true. Um, it really it really it really just doesn't matter at all. So, um, yeah, my uh, I mean, I don't I don't want to like fuck anyone over. Um, but my, you know, stance on this is totally like non-interventional. I'm not trying to do any investigations of my own. If someone does an investigation, maybe I'll do a video about it. But overall, I have no interest in sacrificing any piece of anything I am for, um, you know, someone on the internet. I just want to uh, get a house, um, get a nice car, have some kids and cats and stuff like that. And 